Hey guys, it's Scotty here again. Hot off the presses, I've got my latest design called Lil Tuggers ready for all you makers out there. During shoots, it's been twice now that I've had my camera monitor fall off the hot shoe adapter. Once was after a bit of camera movement, but the second was when I accidentally hooked the HDMI cable and yanked it off. I'm not too concerned about the monitor, but both times it ripped out the micro HDMI plug on my Sony with some considerable force. Fortunately, the HDMI socket on my camera handled the extreme handling without causing any permanent damage. I read on a forum that the HDMI socket could cost upwards of $1,000 to repair, so I decided to save my anxiety and buy a jerk stopper from Tether Tools. These grip the cable and anchor it to the camera, so any tugs on the cable won't damage the socket. They do work as stated, but they're a bit fiddly and if you change your rig from shoot to shoot, it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass to undo and retie continuously. One side of the jerk stopper always stays on the camera, and when not being used, it gets in the way and can bang about making noise when shooting. I also wish that they would cushion the tugging force a bit too. So that's when I decided to build a better cable strain relief, and I came up with my design called Lil Tuggers. It's quick on and off with its integrated crab lock. The integrated spring allows any cable tugs to be cushioned. And being flexible helps it fit into different rigging setups. There's three sizes of tuggers. There's the Lil Tugger, which is sized for single camera cables such as HDMI or USB. Then there's the regular tugger that can take a couple of cables such as USB or HDMI or a single mains cable. Then there's the big daddy called the big tugger that can take multiple larger cables. I printed some in red PETG as it's both strong and flexible. I also used white eSun PLA Plus and it works great, though not quite as flexible as the PETG. You could also use ABS. I printed the Lil Tugger and regular Tugger at 0.2 mm layer height, and the Big Tugger at 0.35 mm layer height. These were printed with between four and six perimeters, and between five and seven top and bottom layers. Higher for larger sizes. For fill, I used 25%. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you. Please let me know what you thought with a thumbs up or down. I love hearing what you think of my designs in the comments. If you want to see more of my DIY videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Scotty Make Stuff, at this link above. Bye!